Good evening, everyone. And welcome to the Township Committee meeting of April the 9th of 2019. Ms. Bork, will you please call the roll? Committee Woman Holmes? Here. Committee Woman Lapani? Here. Committee Woman McCauley? Here. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Here. Mayor Delcor? Here. Administrator Ferreira? Here. Attorney Willard? Here. Please join me in a salute to the flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's the way you say it, pledge, kid. Good job. Okay. Uh, please be advised that in accordance with Section 5 of the Open Public Meetings Act, Act Chapter 231 of the Public Law of 1975, that notice of this meeting was made by the posting on the bulletin board at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex and notifying the officially designated newspapers that this meeting would take place at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex at 7.30 p.m. on April the 9th of 2019. Before we begin our business uh, this evening, um, I would like to uh, just take a moment in remembrance of uh, one of our locals here, uh, Fred Quick, a Hillsborough resident and retired uh, Air Force Lieutenant Colonel who passed away at his home uh, last week, April the 1st of 2019. Born on September the 17th, 1931, uh, Fred attended Hillsborough Elementary Schools and graduated from Somerville High School in 1949. As an Air Force veteran, he served as our Grand Marshal for the annual Memorial Day Parade in 2016. Fred's community service included membership on the Somerset County Parks Commission from 1980 through 2007, serving as president for three years, and later as trustee of the Somerset County Park Foundation from 2007 through 2018. He was a very active and loyal member, past president, and Paul Harris Fellow of the Rotary Club of Hillsborough. He was a longtime member and former trustee of the 200 Club of Somerset County. He was a member of the Board of Adjustment, the Construction Board of Appeals for 20 years, commissioner on the Somerset County Board of Election from 1984 to 2009, and a member of the Historic Preservation Commission here in Hillsborough from 1999 to 2018. Fred was preceded in death by his parents, Frederick L. and Ruth Diltz Quick, his wife of 52 years, Marie L. Quick, his brothers, Peter and Jacob, his son, Mark, and his granddaughter, Colleen Wilkoff, Wyckoff. He survived by three children, his daughter, Cindy, uh, Denise, and son, Gary, and grandchildren, Curtis, Marissa, Kyle, Jacob, and Jessica. Friends and family are invited to share in a memorial service on September on Sunday, September the 5th at 1 p.m. at Neshanik Valley Golf Club, uh, followed by a celebration of Fred's life. Uh, he was someone that uh, known to many of the people in the, in the room here, a uh, very active public servant, and um, just wanted to recognize uh, his, uh, his importance to our community uh, over, over many, many years. At this time, I'd like to take a moment of silence, please, in remembrance of Fred Quick. Thank you. Okay, the first order of business tonight is approval of minutes. First up is the approval of the January 8th, 2019 executive session minutes. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes? Yes. Committee Woman Lapani? Yes. Committee Woman McCauley? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. We also have the approval of the January 22nd, 2019 executive session minutes. May I have a motion for those minutes, please? So moved. Second. Sorry. Comments from the dais? Comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes? Yes. Committee Woman Lapani? Yes. Committee Woman McCauley? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. We also have the approval of the February 26, 2019 regular session minutes. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Comments from the dais? From the floor? Roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes? Yes. Committee Woman Lapani? Yes. Committee Woman McCauley? Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. 
And finally, we have the approval of the March 13th, 2019 regular session minutes. We have a motion for those minutes, please. So moved. Second. <coughs> Comments from the dais? Mm -hmm. Comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes? Abstain. Committee Man Lapani? Yes. Committee Woman McCauley? Abstain. Deputy Mayor Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. We'll move to reports from committee liaisons. First up, Committee Woman McCauley. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, everybody. I just wanted to thank uh, Triangle Road Elementary School with Tori Wargo, Mrs. Heisel, and all of the teachers there for inviting uh, the town council to go to their Autism Awareness Day. And uh, I was joined by Committeeman Lapani as well and other elected officials there, the board members as well that were there. And um, I just wanted to say that it's just a wonderful event. They really bring the community together. They just have wonderful ways of expressing how to include everybody in the community, in their classrooms. And uh, I just love going to their event. So I wanted to say thank you to them. And of course, I believe it's Autism Awareness Month, which I think you're doing a proclamation for later. So we will see more of that then. But uh, I wanted to say thank you to Triangle Elementary School. Public safety, there's a free personal safety program that's being offered to high school seniors. It's at the Somerset County Public Safety Center at the Police Academy section. There are two dates available for this. It's April 29th and Wednesday, May 22nd. Both dates are from 6 to 9 p.m. Pre-registration is required and parents and guardians are also welcome to attend. Please see our Friday e-newsletter e for more information and uh, I think you can sign up on there too. Right, Pam? Yes. You can sign up on the e-newsletter. Okay. Additionally, the Somerset County Association of Chiefs of Police is sponsoring the annual free five-day Police Youth Week program from July 15th through the 19th. This program for Somerset County High School students is also coordinated by the Somerset County Police Academy. It's a really great five days to spend learning about the, Som the Somerset County Police and all the policing that they do. So I recommend uh, highly going to that event. And you can also see that on our e-newsletter coming up this Friday. And that's it for me this evening, Mayor. Thank you. Oh. Sorry, Committee Mayor Lapali. Thank you, Mayor. Sorry. Good evening. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank the Township for remembering Fred Quick. Um, he's a fellow Rotarian with me and was a Rotary member for uh, over 50 years and uh, will miss his guidance um, and wisdom. With that being said, uh, Rotary moves on. Just a reminder that Ro the Rotary Club of Hillsborough will host their annual Easter egg hunt, which has become very popular in this town. Um, April 20th, that's a Saturday at 10.30 a.m. at the Triangle Road Athletic Complex. You can see Friday's new newsletter for all the details. Uh, from the building department, if you're plan to or planning or installing a deck this year, there are a few things you should know. First off, Please visit the Hillsborough Zoning Department to obtain a zoning permit. And then before submitting the application to the building department, please pick up the handout for deck installations and read through it carefully. Uh, essentially, that could save you some time in the long run. Uh, the building department application requires the following documents, a zoning approval, a permit application folder, and then a building subcode technical section, i.e. a tech card. It is also important to note that additional tech cards may be required if you are installing electric or plumbing. If you have hired a builder, be sure to include a copy of the contractor's home improvement license, and two copies of plans are required. Plans re required de are de or details in the deck uh, installed in the handout. In New Jersey, the only, only homeowners and design professionals, i.e. an architect or engineer, are allowed to draw these plans. Your contractor is not allowed or permitted to submit a drawn plan that they did. The DPW, senior curbside cleanup tickets are available at the public works yard between 8 and 2, Monday through Friday. They are also available through the social service department during senior chapter meetings. For more information on the cleanup programs, please visit the public works link off the township website. Just a reminder, seedlings will be available again on April 27th at the Auten Road facility through the New Jersey Tree Recovery Campaign. For the new business advocate and the HBA, just a reminder that uh, Thursday there will be the Affinity Credit Union uh, social and network event. Uh, some tickets are still remaining. Uh, see the community calendar for details. And lastly, the, from the engineering department, 
Uh, the engineering department would like to advise residents that a result of natural topography, natural stormwater runoff from higher elevations is allowed to drain through lower properties. Typically, this runoff is diverted around homes through swales and other property and along property lines. However, please keep in mind that residents are not permitted to block off natural runoff, but may reroute swales or water flow to protect their property without creating adverse impact to the adjoining neighbor properties. In the, if the engineering department is contacted about an issue, the department may review and possibly contact these affected parties of potential issues with a letter. The department does not have the authority to issue fines, violations, or take court actions. In such cases, any unresolved disputes between homeowners and are civil matters and should be handled in a private legal manner. So I'd just be nice to your neighbor. This is what we're saying. Try and work it out. In adverse conditions, if an adverse condition is created, it is recommended that the neighbors work together for an amicable solution. And that's all I got. Thanks, Thank Mayor. You. Committee Woman Holmes. Thank you, Mayor. Congratulations to the Hillsborough residents who are on the Somerset County Valley YMCA swim team who recently participated in the short course national championships in Greenboro, North Carolina. This team placed fifth overall out of 20, 200 YMCA teams from the county participated. Oh, over 200, so that was very good. This team has several members from Hillsboro on it. In addition, there were also, they were also the 2019 New Jersey YMCA state champions. This has, was their 10th state title since 2006. On the state team, 30 swimmers are from Hillsboro, ages 9 through 18. So congratulations, team, and a special shout-out to their coaches um, from Hillsboro, Adele Morgan and Danielle Hawkins. There are a lot of coaches, but these two are from Hillsboro, and I just want to say good job and congratulations, team. <laughs> Parks and Recreation Commission. Oh. That's what I'm speaking about. Last week, I attended the monthly meeting of the Parks and Recreation Commission. We have such amazing programs here in Hillsboro, as the mayor stated in his reorganization address. There will be uh, more to come this year, so stay tuned um, to the E! News for future announcements. They're getting the fields ready, and they're working on the summer camp, so it's very exciting. Um, last night, I also attended the Hillsboro Township School District Arts Festival. It's always amazing to see how talented the youth of our community are. If you haven't had a chance to stop by the municipal building to see the artwork through the halls, please do. When you're here to go to the library, pay your taxes, just take a tour because it's amazing. It's all the way from kindergarten, first grade, to 18-year-olds who are saying something through their art. Um, so some are just beautiful and some really speak to you. So um, congratulations for the township here to display their art. It's really exciting. And uh, the Green Living and Wellness Fair will be held on Saturday, June 1st, in conjunction with the YMCA annual Hillsboro Hop. Mark your calendars to save the date. More information will be coming soon. That's all for me, Mayor. Thank you very much. And Deputy Mayor Thompson. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, first, uh, I want to thank uh, Hillsborough Elementary School for inviting me to their science fair. Uh, I believe it was last Friday. Uh, I had a great time. I got to wear a white vest thing, so that was cool. Uh, and I got to go around, and all the children got to explain to me what their science fair project was. Uh, tremendous talent over there. Anytime we can promote STEM in our schools, I think it's fantastic. So I want to thank. Uh, everyone at uh, HES, including the teachers, the, the principals, and of course the HSA over there for organizing that event, and really to the parents too, because there there had to be well over 100 kids that are participating in the program, so uh, really just a great night. So again, thank you for uh, allowing me to uh, participate in that event. From our social services department, uh, Foothill Acres Nursing Home is looking for performers for their Hillsborough's Got Talent auditions uh, for April 30th. Please see the flyer in the e-news for any additional information about that. From our recreation department, the uh, kickoff for the uh, our real uh, 
health uh, fair stuff is uh, the running season with the annual family fun run around the park on Sunday, April 28th. The cost is $25 for adults and $20 for children under the age of 12. Uh, you missed the deadline to get your free t-shirt, but if you visit our website at hillsborough-nj, I'm sorry, hillsborough-nj-recreation.org, you can get additional details and register for other programs. And if you want to keep your kids active this summer, you can send them to the Parks and Recreation Summer Camp. I went when I was little and had a great time. Our camps run from June 24th through August 16th for children age 5 to 13. We also offer a tiny camp for children 4 to 5 who have not finished kindergarten. Registration is open and more details can be found on the Parks and Recreation website. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, before I get into my comments, we do have some seats still. If Instead of having people wait outside, if they want to come on in or... or uh Enough to wait in the hallway. There we go. How many There's oh, just room on the side. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. So if you'll indulge me, it's been a busy couple of weeks, so I got a couple of things to uh, to note tonight. Um, first of all, I'd like to, to congratulate uh, Prakash Canal. Uh, on the opening of Annapurna Curry and Grill, which is located on uh, Route 206. Um, they specialize in Nepalese food. Uh, I was there on, uh, on Saturday uh, with, uh, for the grand opening, along with uh, Community Women Homes and, uh, and our business advocate, David Coys. So I want to thank them for, uh, for allowing us to, uh, to participate in the grand opening and sharing some of their, uh, their wonderful food with us. Uh, best of luck to them. Uh, earlier that morning, we had um, uh, the uh, Adopt a Highway program. We had a number of volunteers from the Municipal Alliance uh, here in Hillsborough, the Hillsborough Millstone Municipal Alliance, and they did a, a cleanup on uh, a stretch of road on 206, basically from uh, Raider Boulevard all the way down to Old Somerville Road, uh, about a mile or so stretch. Um, we had a number of volunteers that, that came out. Uh, that morning was also Deputy Mayor Thompson and Community Women Holmes were there with me as well. And I just wanted to thank them for uh, the uh, volunteers for coming out and working to clean up some of our roads. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar, although we will have a little bit of an uh, announcement later on the, the Municipal Alliance, uh, the Hillsborough, Hillsborough Millstone Municipal Alliance is comprised of volunteers and they're, they're primarily participate in drug and alcohol education awareness and prevention programs. Uh, but on this particular day, they went out of their way to uh, help beautify the town. So thanks to all those who participated. Uh, last Friday as well, um, Administrator Ferrer and I were down in Trenton for the 27th annual Mayor's Legislative Day in Trenton. Um, it's a really a unique opportunity for some of the local officials uh, to interact with those responsible for setting uh, the state agenda for, on things like property tax reform, affordable housing, pension and health benefits reform, infrastructure and utility issues. Uh, I did have an opportunity to meet with uh, one of the panel speakers, Senator Corrado uh, from District 40. Um, but uh, always a good opportunity to get down with some of the, uh, some of the leaders down in Trenton to understand what uh, their initiatives are. They had a couple of uh, very interesting panel discussions and uh, talked to uh, a number of the mayors from, from a number of towns, took questions from the, from the audience and a uh, very uh, collaborative and uh, informative day. So uh, good opportunity to get down to Trenton. Um, in addition, uh, I guess go two weeks ago, uh, two weekends ago, uh, was another full event uh, weekend. Uh, Gigi's Playhouse, which is a uh, not-for-profit that provides uh, support to those individuals with Down syndrome as well as their families. Uh, they're located here in Hillsboro um, on, uh, on Route 206 in the Amwell Mall. Uh, they had their uh, annual gala, which is their, their large fundraiser. I uh, appreciate the opportunity to, uh, to join them and participate. They uh, had several hundred people uh, at this uh, gala to Bridgewater Marriott in, um, in, uh, in Bridgewater and uh, significant silent auctions. Uh, they raised a ton of money uh, for the foundation and uh, they do great work for, for families uh, that, that need their, 
their support. So uh, I just wanted to thank them, not just for the for the invite, but more importantly for the great work that they do, and all those that, that were able to participate and support that really great organization. <clears throat> In addition, the night before that was another uh, uh, you know, the, the rubber chicken circuit uh, for dinners, uh, but this time it was the Somerset County Federation on the status of women. And uh, we had had a, a recognized two Hillsborough women uh, last month here at the municipal building um, at one of our township meetings for, uh, for their awards. Our very own Ms. Borak uh, was, uh, won, the, uh, won the award for uh, a leader in govern government. And uh, we also had Melissa Almendinger uh, from Hillsborough who uh, won an award for uh, her environmental work. So I wanted to thank uh, and, and congratulate both of them uh, we were able to do it at a meeting, but but uh, the dinner was quite nice, and uh, congratulations. Thank you, Mayor. I obviously didn't know about those comments because there's no picture, <laughs> <laughs> so I apologize. Um, so last meeting, uh, we we got onto a topic of of affordable housing. There were some questions that came from some of the members of, of the public. Uh, at that meeting, we talked about uh, arranging a town hall. And I'd like to thank um, Administrator Ferreira and, and uh, Clerk Borak for their, their prompt work in, in arranging uh, a session for, it's going to be held on Thursday, April the 18th at 6 p.m. here in the municipal building in the multi-purpose room. Uh, the purpose of the event is really an effort to educate the public on the topic of affordable housing and the corresponding impact it has on municipalities, not just Hillsboro, but really across the state. Uh, we'll have a number of parties that will be present to provide information and answer questions uh, related to the state mandates and future plans for Hillsboro. Uh, I will be on the panel along with uh, Deputy Mayor Thompson, Assemblywoman Holly Shapizzi, uh, who's recognized as a... Uh, an expert in affordable housing in the assembly. Uh, Jennifer Beam, uh, one of our consultants, works for uh, Leon S. Avakian LLC. And uh, our um, affordable housing attorney, Eric Bernstein, uh, will all be there. That, as I noted, the town hall will focus on uh, the current core process that we're undertaking uh, as part of our planning process and the current municipal plan in place to meet the anticipated obligations uh, that will be given to us from fair share housing. Assemblywoman Shapizzi uh, will also provide a summary of the introduced legislation uh, that's currently being looked at within the assembly to assist municipalities against the impact of uh, the affordable housing mandates. And we will leave plenty of question, uh, plenty of time for a question and answer period as well at the end. So uh, again, April 18th, that's a week from Thursday uh, here in uh, the municipal building in the multi-purpose room. Uh, if you have an interest in uh, the impact of affordable housing, not just on Hillsborough, but really uh, the impact on New Jersey. I uh, certainly welcome you and urge you to, to uh, come and participate uh, and uh, learn about what the impact it's going to have on uh, on the uh, the planning process that we're going through here in Hillsborough. Uh, a couple more items: uh, the Wyland Foundation. I, I mentioned this last week. Uh, Hillsborough Township is joining towns across the country in encouraging residents to take the Wyland Foundation's National Mayor's Challenge for Water Conservation. That's running from April 1st through April 30th. By saving water, our community saves energy, money, and valuable resources. And it's one way we can do our part in the community, uh, as well as win uh, many prizes if you participate, including $3,000 for your home utility payments, or even help a local charity win a 2019 Toyota Highlander Hybrid to help serve the community in the process. So uh, here in Hillsborough, we tend to get a little competitive when we're in these type of contests. So uh, we certainly welcome anyone's participation in helping us conserve. Um, if you want to make your pledge, uh, you can go to mywaterpledge.com to help uh, to help with this process and uh, to help show other cities how uh, how important this matter is to Hillsborough. Looking forward to a couple of dates on Saturday, May the 3rd at 10 a.m. Uh, we'll have a bench dedication uh, at the municipal soccer fields in, 
in remembrance of Tony Ford, who was one of the Hillsborough soccer uh, founding members. Um, on Saturday, May the 25th, is our annual Salute to the Veterans Breakfast, which will be followed by our Memorial Day Parade and Commemoration Program. I know many of you have uh, either participated or certainly witnessed uh, the, uh, the parade and the commemoration program. The Salute to Bre Veterans Breakfast is one of the highlights uh, for the Township Committee each year, um, and we look forward to it. Um, so we hope you'll be able to join us. Uh, weather's usually good at the end of May, Memorial Day weekend, so uh, no excuses. Please come out and uh, support our veterans and, uh, and commemorate Memorial Day with us. And also, Hillsborough Township Community Night at the Somerset Patriots will be held on San Saturday, July the 13th at 7.05. More details on that to come, uh, and how we'll let you know how you can buy tickets for that event as well. Uh, all this information is uh, available through multiple channels. You can always stay connected through, uh, through our Friday e-newsletter, as well as our Twitter feed, uh, TV29, and the Hillsborough YouTube channels which showcase uh, these meetings, as well as our Hillsboro The Good Life episodes. And uh, we also have Hillsboro alerts for traffic and emergency notifications. So uh, lots going on in town uh, and lots of ways to keep yourself informed of, of the various events that are ongoing. So that's it for me tonight. Uh, we're going to move on to our proclamations. Uh, we ask that after you receive your proclamation or recognition, if you would please return to your seat uh, we will allow some time at the end after all the uh, recognitions are completed to allow for an orderly departure if you'd like to leave. Um, so we're going to start first uh, with uh, recognition of uh, some of our finest here in Hillsborough uh, who uh, were, uh, were responsible for a, a life-saving measure here in Hillsborough. So I'd like to uh, bring forward uh, those that, uh, to be recognized tonight. So Hillsborough Fire Marshal John Andrzejczak, uh, Chief of Hillsborough Fire Company Number 2 Billy Schaefer, have been given a letter of commendation for saving the life of an individual on February the 28th, 2019. Uh, at that same life-saving event, we have Hillsborough Police Officer Jake Lawrence uh, received a life-saving award for his, uh, his work in helping save that life. While off-duty, Fire Marshal Andrzejczak uh, discovered a ShopRite employee having a medical emergency. After contacting EMS, he began CPR. At that time, another ShopRite employee, Chief Schaefer, lent assistance with the resuscitation efforts. Officer Lawrence responded to the call of the same individual in need of medical assistance. The individual was found unresponsive, and Officer Lawrence began life-saving measures as well, including a defibrillator and performing CPR. The experience, professionalism, dedication, and training of Fire Marshal Andrzejczak uh, Fire Chief Schaefer and Officer Lawrence were an integral part in saving this individual's life. Their actions are truly representative of the, of the level of excellence provided by the Hillsborough Bureau of Fire Safety and our Hillsborough Police Department. The Hillsborough Township Committee extends our sincere appreciation and congratulations to Hillsborough Township Fire Marshal John Andrzejczak, Chief of Hillsborough Fire Company No. 2 Bill Schaefer, and Hillsborough Police Officer Jacob Lawrence for saving the life of this individual and for being shining members of our community. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your, for your efforts. I would just like to give my congratulations to these two firefighters and police officers for um, their heroic uh, efforts these days. Because of them, uh, someone what was able to go home to their loved ones. Thank you very much.
Okay, can I have uh, those that are here uh, for uh, National Autism Awareness Month? Autism is a pervasive developmental disorder that manifests itself and affects the social, learning, and behavioral skills of those affected by it. Autism is currently estimated to affect 1 in 68 children nationally, with rates being the highest in New Jersey where the diagnosis rate for a child with an autism spectrum disorder in New Jersey has increased to 1 in 34. Autism is said to affect boys four and a half times more than girls and knows no racial, ethnic, or social boundaries and neither income, lifestyle, nor education affects the occurrence. Those with autism need equal access to education, employment opportunities, community-based housing, family services, coaching and support, and medical treatment. Organizations and individuals such as Autism New Jersey, Autism Speaks, Hillsborough's Board of Education Special Services Department, Hillsborough Department of Parks and Recreation, the Hillsborough Police Department, the Hillsborough Rotary Club, Hillsborough Unico, Hillsborough Volunteer Fire Companies number one, two, and three, Legend Equestrian, Mission Cognition, Nishanic Fire Company, Norris Hill Farm, the Organization for Autism Research, the Office of Emergency Management, Somerset County Sheriff's Office Project Lifesaver, Somerset County Special Olympics, and Somerset County Therapeutic Recreation enhance awareness throughout our community by providing quality care support or services to individuals diagnosed with autism. The Hillsborough Township Committee declares April as National Autism Awareness Month and vows to continue to support programs dedicated to Hillsborough's special needs community. I really would like to thank all of these volunteers. Uh, some of them are, are significant leaders in our community, uh, but they have all gone out of their way uh, to support our special needs community, particularly those uh, diagnosed with autism and uh, your efforts are, are commendable. Thank you very much for all that you do for the community. Can I have the members of the Hillsborough Millstone Municipal Alliance come on up? <coughs> Alcohol is the most commonly used addictive su substance in the United States with one in every 12 adults or 17.6 million people suffering from alcohol abuse or dependence. More than half of all adults have a family history of alcoholism or problem drinking. And more than 10% of children live in a household where at least one parent is dependent on or has abused alcohol. Young people aged 12 to 20 years old drink 11% of all alcohol consumed in, in the United States, with 90% of this being binge drinking. People who begin drinking before age 15 are five times more likely to develop alcohol dependence 
than those who begin drinking at age 21. Kids who have conversations with their parents and learn about the dangers of alcohol and drug use are 50% less likely to use alcohol and drugs than those who don't have such conversations. The Municipal Alliance is a committee of volunteers who works tirelessly to provide programs focusing on education and prevention for all members of the community. The Hillsborough Township Committee joins the National Council on Alcoholism and Drug Dependence in proclaiming April 2019 as Alcoholism Awareness Month in Hillsborough. The Hillsborough Township Committee calls upon the Hillsborough citizens, parents, governmental agencies, private and public institutions, businesses, and schools in Hillsborough to support the efforts that will reduce stigma, include, in, increase community awareness, and increase support for individuals and families coping with alcoholism. Through these efforts, together we can provide help for today, hope for tomorrow, for those in our community who are facing challenges with alcohol use and abuse. Um, it's a significant problem. I think we all recognize that. The Alliance does amazing work in trying to educate the public uh, on the dangers of alcoholism and drug use uh, and to create educational programs, especially in the schools for, for our kids. Um, and I'd really like to thank them for their efforts. Thank you, as always, to the Township Committee all of you for uh, your support of the Municipal Alliance through the years and thanks for doing this proclamation because it raises awareness about a very important issue in our community. So thank you. Uh, can I have Rich and Debbie Norris come on up? Hillsborough residents, Rich and Debbie Norris, owners of Norris Farm, Norris Hill Farm, have been selected as the Somerset County Vocational and Technical School Districts 2018 Business Partners of the Year. Mr. and Mrs. Norris were selected for, their, for the award for their generous donations, support, curriculum assistance, and contributions to the Agricultural Science and Culinary Arts programs. The Norris have made donations in, to support irrigation and hydroponic projects, have assisted in fundraising events, and loaned the Agricultural Science program egg-laying chickens to provide students with learning opportuni opportunities in animal science. The Norris family has also provided students with a chance to formally document supervised agricultural experience projects and earn honorary National Future Farmers of America degrees and national recognition through the Agricultural Experience Tracker and online record keeping system. The Hillsborough Township Committee joins the Somerset County Vocational and Technical School in honoring Rich and Debbie Norris for being selected as the Somerset County Vocational and Technical School District's 2018 Business Partners of the Year and wishes them all the best for the future. Oh, we do have a couple kids. Sorry, I didn't see you guys over there. <laughs> we have anybody here that participated in the Super Bowl? Yeah. All right, come on up.
<laughs> okay. Latin Road Intermediate School, fifth grade teams, 5J, led by Mrs. Lyons and Mr. Argello, and 5K, which were led by Mrs. Corliss and Mr. Andre Mrs. Andreski, participated in the fifth annual Super Bowl collection. The Super Bowl is a challenge between the teams to collect the most cans of food to donate to the Hillsborough Township Food Pantry. Over 100 students participated, and I'm going to let you introduce those that are here uh, themselves. Ella, <laughs> Miriam, Rachel, Laura, Paige, Kaya, Sienna, Summer, Adeline, Ritu, Hannah, Samantha, Isabella, Louisa, Bryn, Anaya, Rohan, Divian, Matthew, Jake, Jonas, John, Anish, Jeremy, Barshan, Zohar, Timmy, Evan, Mariama, Anushka, Sadie, Juliana, <laughs> Anvi, Caitlin, Samantha, Riley, Jillian, Cassandra, Sanakshi, Miranda, Sanvi, Nisha, Cynthia, Siddharth, Elliot, <laughs> Jaden, <laughs> Nick, Shay, Ariman, Shreeshan, Apurva, Liam. So during the two week challenge, these students learned the true lesson of charity as they collected cans, received generous donations, and even utilized their own allowance and holiday and Christmas money to buy cans. So teams 5J and 5K, which number 102 families, gathered an astounding 3,683 cans of soup for charity. And just to give you an idea, that topped last year's total by more than 1,500 cans. And they also made sure that the expiration dates were good, they sorted all the food types, and even boxed up the donations for delivery. The Hillsborough Township Committee would like to recognize the Auton Road Intermediate Schools 5J, teams 5J and 5K, for their participation in the Super Bowl collection and their contribution to the Hillsborough Food Bank. Um, here in Hillsborough, yeah, we like to think that we're a, a community that gives when, whenever needed, and these kids obviously always show that. We have a food pantry that um, you wish didn't have the need it does, but unfortunately, uh, we do need it quite a bit, and the donations that came into the food pantry uh, went to people that could really use uh, the donations that you guys were able to collect. So you should all be very proud of yourselves. I know Hillsboro, uh, as the mayor, and I know I speak for the township committee, we thank you very much. The food pantry needed what you gave, and uh, we appreciate very much the efforts to stock that food pantry. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank Mayor Delcourt and the council for acknowledging the amazing effort that these kids put forth. So congratulations to you. But also thank you very much to the families because we know if it wasn't for you, this never would have been possible. So thank you so much for your contributions.
gotta come back a little bit and try to squeeze together a little bit. Just got it down. <laughs> it's like, it's like trying to crawl a hamster. There's a teacher involved. Congratulations to all those that received recognition tonight. <laughs> we are going to take uh, about a two-minute break, and if you'd like to leave, uh, we'll give you the opportunity to. Uh, you're more than welcome to stay. We love a full house, but uh, have a great night if you're going to leave. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you again to all those that were here uh, receiving recognition this evening. Uh, we have no new business tonight, so we're going to move on to public comment on new business and matters that are not on the agenda. If anyone from the public would like to comment on any matters not on the agenda, now is the time to please do so. <laughs> okay, seeing none, we're going to move to uh, public hearings. Tonight we have Ordinance 2019-07, which is an ordinance amending Chapter 57 entitled uh, Fire Operations Bureau of of the Code of the Township of Hillsborough, the State of New Jersey. This ordinance addresses minor edits to the chapter to reflect the current operations of the Fire Bureau. May I have a motion to open the public hearing on Ordinance 2019-07? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Is there any discussion from the dais? Right here. Any discussion from the floor? Okay, can I have a motion to close the public hearing and adopt Ordinance 2019-07? So move, Mayor. Second. Roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes. Yes. Committee Woman Lapani. Yes. Committee Woman McCauley. Yes. Deputy Mayor Thompson. Yes. Mayor Delcor. Yes. Uh, we have no introduction of new ordinances this evening, so we'll move to the list of resolutions. Uh, does anyone on the dais wish to take any of the items separately on the resolution list. 
Okay, seeing none. I uh, just wanted to highlight one note here. Uh, we do have resolution number four, which is just a resolution that increases the temporary budget for 2019. Uh, state law does allow us to uh, put a temporary budget in place, which is equal to uh, essentially 26.25% of our annual prior year's budget uh, for each quarter uh, that we have a temporary budget in place. Uh, we do expect to introduce our, uh, our budget within the next month, uh, which will render the temporary budget uh, no longer needed. But until then, uh, we just need to continue to have our, our temporary budget in place to conduct normal business operations. May I have a motion to approve the above resolutions? Make a motion. Second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor? Can I have a roll call, please? Committee Woman Holmes? Yes. Committee Woman Lapani? Yes. Committee Woman McCauley? Yes. Deborah Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. Uh, we'll move on to claims list. May I have a motion to approve claims list 2019-06? So move, Mayor. Second. Any comments from the dais? Mm -hmm. Comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes? Yes. Committee Woman Lapani? Yes. Committee Woman McCauley? Yes. Deborah Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes, this does conclude our regular meeting. We do have an executive session this evening. Ms. Borak, will you please read the executive resolution? Whereas Section 8 of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975, prints the exclusion of the public from a meeting in certain circumstances, and whereas the Township Committee is of the opinion that such circumstances exist. Now, therefore, it be resolved by the Township Committee, the Township of Hillsborough County, Somerset State of New Jersey, as follows. The public shall be excluded from the discussion of the hearing after specified subject matter. Number two, the general nature of subject matter to be discussed is as follows litigation, affordable housing. Number three, the Township Committee may take official action on those items discussed in executive session upon the completion of the executive session. Number four, the minutes of those discussions shall be made available to the public as soon as the matters are under discussion, are no longer of confidential sense of nature. This resolution shall take effect immediately. Thank you. May I have a motion on the uh, executive resolution? So moved. Second. Comments from the dais. Can she repeat that slowly? <laughs> Never. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes? Yes. Committee Woman Lapani? Yes. Committee Woman McCauley? Yes. Jimmy Thompson? Yes. Mayor Delcor? Yes. Uh, thank you. We are going to adjourn our uh, regular meeting and um, our end our regular meeting and move into executive session. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you.